Hey folks, welcome back. In this video, we're going to look at Millikan's oil drop experiment. So let's get started. I'm going to take you through the main points of this experiment and then we'll look at the conclusions. First of all, it says that in 1909, an experiment was carried out by Robert Millikan to determine the size of the charge on an electron. He also demonstrated that charge is made up of multiples of electron charge, i.e. charge is quantized. His experiment used the apparatus shown below. So you'll see we've got this oil atomizer on the right which sprays tiny oil droplets into this chamber. So it says, an atomizer was used to produce a spray of tiny oil droplets into a chamber. These were pulled downwards through a small hole by gravity and individual oil drops could be examined using a microscope. So there's our microscope and there's our tiny oil droplets moving downwards through this hole due to gravity. By observing the terminal velocity they reached, he was able to calculate the mass of the oil droplets. So remember terminal velocity is the constant speed reached when the downwards gravitational force is balanced by some upwards frictional force. And in this case we're talking about an electric field between these two plates, so the force upwards here is an electric force. We'll see later that the mass of the oil droplets was necessary for Millikan to determine the charge on the electron. It then goes on to say the oil droplets fell between two metal plates to which an electric field was applied. By varying the voltage applied to the plates, it was possible for him to exactly balance the downwards force due to the gravitational field with the upwards force due to the electric field. So here's a free body diagram showing the forces acting on the oil droplet. So we've got the gravitational force F equals mg, essentially just the weight, W equals mg downwards, and we've got the force upwards due to the electric field, which is the electric force F equals QE. So these forces were exactly balanced, and at this point the oil droplet became stationary. Next it says that some droplets would become charged as a result of friction as they passed through the atomizer. The charge in the droplets was also varied by firing a beam of x-rays into the chamber to ionise the air. Electrons would attach themselves to the oil droplets, thus varying the charge on the droplets. And in the picture, here's our x-rays getting in between the plates there. By focusing on a single droplet, the electric field could be adjusted until the drop was stationary. Since the droplets had different charges, the voltage applied had to be varied to produce the correct electric field to achieve balanced forces. The values of the applied electric field E, the mass of a drop M, and the acceleration due to gravity G were all known, so Millikan could calculate the charge on the drop Q. Equating our two forces, the force due to the electric field and the force due to the gravitational field, we can say that QE equals mg, and that's because they were balanced forces, remember. And since we can rearrange V equals ED for E equals V over D, then we get that QV over D is equal to mg. So all we've done here is replace the E with V divided by D, so QV over D equals mg, and therefore we can rearrange for the charge Q. So we get Q equals MGD divided by V. So we just bring this D up to the top and divide by V. So doing a calculation with Q equals MGD over V allowed Millikan to discover the charge on an electron. So it says this was repeated many times and he discovered that the charge was always a multiple of minus 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs. He concluded that this must be the charge on an electron and that charge was quantized. And quantized just means that the charge exists in multiples or big chunks. And we're talking about chunks of charge of minus 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs here. And this means that any charge is quantized and is a multiple of the electron charge. If you think about the charge on an alpha particle, for example, that's 3.2 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs, which is actually just two times the electron charge, even though it's positively charged instead. Just to help you visualize this experiment a bit better, here's a quick simulation. So you'll see we've got a chamber here with an atomizer which can spray in the oil droplets. We've then got a positively charged plate in the top at 525 volts and a charge at zero volts in the bottom, so that's essentially our negatively charged plate. We've also got an x-ray source which can be used to ionize the air inside the chamber and you can look through the microscope to try and balance the oil droplets with the forces. So if we spray in some oil droplets, you'll see that one of them is moving down through the hole in the top plate and moving downwards, and we can cause it to be balanced by increasing the potential difference of the top plate. And if we put that to about 625 volts, you'll notice that the particle becomes roughly stationary. So at this point, we can say that the force due to the electric field upwards balances the force due to the gravitational field downwards. And we could then work out the charge on this oil droplet. We could also give it charge if it wasn't charged passing through the atomizer initially by firing in some x-rays. That's all for this video, folks. Thanks for watching. If you made it to the end, I really appreciate it. Make sure to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.